trade offer, you subscribe, I provide quality video. Hmm? Obviously though, the quality is optional in my side of the transactions, so it's, it's up to you. <laughs> Wait, hold on. So I gotta be a bit more conservative here on the double YouTube channel. We are family friendly, of course. Conservative like my political views, ladies and gentlemen. I'm joking, I'm joking. Oh, we don't talk about politics on this channel. No, 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 we don't. Unless I'm making fun of the Edinburgh Council, then that's okay. But besides that, people always ask me, Owen, oh, you've been to, I think I've been to 15 countries in my life. Which one is your favorite? And let me tell you, my dad's probably a better person to ask because he's been to like, he's been to around 50, I think. Maybe pushing 60, like his age. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's not true, but it would be funny if it was, you know? Anyway, so people always ask me, Owen, oh, of all the countries you've been to, what is your favorite? I don't know if you can tell, but there might be a hint on your screen currently. I'm gonna reveal the greatest country in one, two, wait, I should do three, two, one instead. <laughs> what am I doing? Three, two, one. It has to be, it just has to be. Listen, I looked over the stats. <laughs> a lot of people probably didn't know this, but I actually hand drew this flag. I know you think I just probably inserted it from Google, but no, that's just me using my mouse to hand draw the flag. <laughs> that's why it looks perfect, you know? Scotland is the greatest country in the world, and I will I will go through the reasons why. This is basically the format of the video. I'm gonna go through reasons why I believe Scotland is the greatest country in the world. One thing every Scottish person has in common, this is true, is that we, <laughs> why am I talking about this? <laughs> One thing every Scottish person has in common Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else on the double YouTube fan base, is that we love free stuff. For the youth under the age of 21, I don't know the minimum age. I don't even know if there is one, but you can get free bus travel. And that's just not local buses within cities, it's also buses connecting cities in this great nation. What else is there? Ladies and gentlemen, there is free universal healthcare. So the NHS. I really don't want to flex on my American viewers because I know I do have some American viewers out there, so I apologize for flexing. <laughs> But what free thing do Scotland have that no other country in the UK have? We don't have to pay tuition for university for Scottish residents. Oh, I mean, obviously you have to pay for living expenses, but I still think not having tuition takes off a lot of stress from the students. Our country is also very aesthetic and beautiful. The Highlands to uh, the two streets in Edinburgh that kind of look nice, you know, it's a very beautiful country. <laughs> so. And of course, the people here are also very beautiful as well. Mm -hmm. The group of really attractive Scottish people are the double O YouTube fan base, or most of them. Uh, we're all very beautiful, I think. I, I hope so. We are, right, guys? You better, you better not be ugly. But you, if you, if you're ugly, unsubscribe right now. <laughs> what else we do? We have good food, of course. Like, um, can't think of anything off the top of my head, so I'm just gonna type it up. I just typed up haggis. I didn't even search for Scottish food, I just wrote haggis for some reason. I mean, of course, haggis is a Scottish food, but I just had a complete memory bank. Fish and chips, you got black pudding, oat cakes, Scotch pie, Scotch egg, bangers, a mash, Colin skink. Sounds gross, but it's a great soup. I really like it. Maybe our savory stuff has some space left for desire, but when it comes to sweet stuff like sticky toffee pudding, tonics tea cakes, Tonics Camel Wafers, baby, come on. Scones, let's go. We got, oh, deep fried Mars bar. Me personally, I haven't had a deep fried Mars bar, but I don't think that's for me. I think it's, <laughs> I think it sounds awful. Iron Brew, okay. Controversial opinion on Iron Brew. I think the normal Iron Brew you get is mid. I think the light Iron Brew, the sugar-free one, is awful. But I do think Iron Brew Extra and the original OG flavor go so hard. Okay, that's my that's my hot take for the day. <laughs> Besides saying Scotland's the best country in the world. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe that's also a hot take. But <laughs> the first time I had Amber Extra, I was like, whoa, whoa. You know, I couldn't say anything else. My granny was very confused because I had her her house and she was like, you okay? And I was like, nope. This tastes amazing. Anyway, that's my take on Scottish food. We have some good scran, but of course we don't just do food goods, ladies and gentlemen. We also host great events. Of course, first of all, Hogmanay, New Year's Eve, a classic in Scotland. And what else do we have? Of course, the Edinburgh Fringe. During the Fringe Festival as well, of course, there's the military tattoo, um, which I was actually in in 2017 in the choir. I did 25 nights. Actually, no, wait, that's a lie. I did 24 because the one night I took off was because I was starting high school the next day. So I had to prioritize my scheduling and stuff like that. But yeah, I was in the tattoo, and actually, speaking of this cap, it kind of broke 
in France. Basically, I just tightened it too hard or like untightened it too hard. The buckle just snapped off. So it still functions like well as a hat. It just kind of broke and that happened in France. So I'm sorry to the French, but a couple of points did get taken off the score thing that I used to judge which country is the best, of course. I'm not going to release the scores because because I'm just making all the stuff up on the spot right now. But you know, it's just kind of a shame that that happened in France. It could have happened anywhere, but that's the luck of the draw, baby. On the double O, which country is the best scale? It happens to the best of us. Mmm, <laughs> that's some really good water. Scottish water, baby. Let's go. What's their new... What's Scottish water's new slogan? It's like... Piped by us, but owned by you. Yeah, Joe, I'm gonna need you to add 10 more points to Scotland for Scottish Water having a great slogan. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. Bye. What's one of the last great events that Scotland do? Well, of course, it's the Willy Wonka experience. And that was a legendary event, and I'm very excited for next year's, of course. <laughs> Scotland also have a great collection of Scottish fictional characters. Sherlock Holmes, for instance. Um, he's based off a guy from Edinburgh, so I assume that he himself is Scottish. Now, I did try and research it before, aka like five minutes before starting this video, and all I got from Google was he's vaguely British, so I'm gonna say Scottish. Another big fictional character from Edinburgh, of course, is James Bond. And of course, the great thing about James Bond is he's been played by a lot of great Scottish actors. Wait, what? Da Daniel Craig is English? Good, Sean Connery, legend, he is Scottish, we're good. What about the other ones? I don't really know much about the other actors. Irish. What? English. What? What? What is this? Timothy Dalton. What is this? What is this guy? Come on, Wikipedia. Don't. Don't do this. Okay, just saying. It's, it's just saying he's British. Wales. To an English father. This is breaking my heart. I thought. Oh. He's Australian. Are you kidding me? Okay, only Sean Connery was the Scottish James Bond. This is crazy, this is crazy, this is... Ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement. I am playing the next James Bond. I know, and I know, I know what you're thinking, Owen. I do look a bit young to be James Bond, but uh, they're doing kind of like, you know in Casino Royale, how they started with the origin story, where they're going even further back to where he was at school. They're going on a journey from when James Bond first started getting into MI6 and whatnot. And that's, that's what they're going to do with my films. I've already signed to do 10 of them, so it's going to be great. The longest running James Bond, that's going to be me. Definitely tune in to, tune in to the cinema, of course, because that's what you do. You tune in to the cinema. Uh, yeah, I will be cutting off my blonde hair um, as soon as it kind of starts looking like it's frosted tips. That's when I'll cut it, so I'll go back to like my base brown. Um, I don't know if I should really be saying any of this actually, I don't want to leak anything. Um, they didn't really get me to sign an NDA for it though, because of course I just made all this stuff on the spot. Of course me and James Bond have a lot in common, like we're both incredibly good looking. <laughs> we have insane W Riz. <laughs> uh, no, but we both, we both are from Edinburgh, so. <laughs> Wait, what was I talking about before I went on that big rant about James Bond? I was talking about Scotland and why it's the best country in the world, god damn it. <laughs> you know what's actually one of the best things about Scotland actually? Is the fact that in no matter what sport we're playing internationally, we're always the underdog. So when we win, it's awesome. It's so good when we win because we always think we're gonna lose. We can lay claim to the invention or early development of a number of the most popular international sports, including football, golf, hockey, rugby, and tennis. Yep, we invented all of those sports with no help. That was us. Yeah, football's coming home, baby. Straight to Scotland where it belongs. Come on, boys. <laughs> this is honestly probably the cringiest video I've ever made. Anyway, that's all I want to say. I love my country. I challenge, I challenge any other creators out there to make a video on their country. The one real to this is your video better not be better than mine. And you better have worse points. This is, this is, I know this is going to be hard, but you better have worse points than I did for my country. So yeah, that is, that is my challenge. Uh, you can send me a link to the video on Instagram. Um, I'll probably subscribe to your channel if I like the video. And even if I don't, I probably still, <laughs> I probably still will subscribe. I sh I'm going to hand draw the flag. This is a good idea. The background's already white. Little triangles. Yes. Okay, that's a bit too... Low. We're gonna recover this though. Okay, okay, that's looking good. Okay, yes. 
Yes. Look how straight that. Whoa, this is worth the most. Look how straight that line is. Okay. Boom. Uh, obviously, the symmetry is perfect. Um, I don't see anything wrong with this. 